Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Baboa. In this video, I will be telling you guys the best Sarah path to do as an Iran part in type soul. If you guys end up enjoying the video, like and start the channel. Current goal is 15,000 subscribers and also join my Discord down below. That's where you guys can win giveaways, um, see when I go live, see my new videos and all that. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so if you guys don't know what a Sarah path is already, if you are in a wrong card, it's pretty much these right here. So Sarah grab, try grab, cornea, blade, and finger Sarah. You have five different options. So I'll be going over each of them and which things you should use with certain um, skill trees, which ones are the most versatile, just things like that. So the first one that I want to talk about is going to be Sarah grab. Sarah grab is insane if you know Tendo. If you know Tendo, Sarah grab, or Hakuna, then it's just insane. Uh, the reason why it's really good with kendo is because the amount of damage that it will do it does like a half or one full bar if you do full kendo and it's actually insane and then if you do hakuda it's obviously brain dead because you can just do hakuda combos which have you super close to the other person the whole time and then you can just zero grab them and it will do some damage um still very very good though um next one is tri Sero. this is the one that i see most people run once then it's very good with tendo all of these are going to be good with tendo because if you guys don't know tendo increases the posture scaling and Sero damage scaling um but yeah as i was saying tri Sero is pretty good um i'm not going to say that it's the best one but it is definitely pretty good it's probably the most ran one for sure um but like uh, i don't know it is good but it really depends on the type of play style that you guys are going for now, Cornea is the one that I actually ended up going. Um, I still don't really know why. It is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. This is what Cornea is, by the way. Um, it spawns a little circle. It launches them inside the air. Does a lot of damage. It is very good. Um, it's kind of because I needed like a little bit of a longer range type move that still did a lot of damage. And also, Cornea can be used for loot boxes. You know, when you beat a raid, the loot box is fun. Um, because the move launches them inside the air, you can actually use it for that as well. That's not why I got it. Um, but it's definitely like something pretty cool to have because now I can get the loot boxes way easier. Um, but Tornia is very, very good. Um, it's long range. You guys can actually use it pretty well. Um, like if you have very low ray and, um, you know, both of you and the, your opponent are kind of just standing still, Tornia is definitely a very good one because it's insanely fast. And then because you um, go full kendo with it, you know, you'll do a lot of damage. If you guys haven't realized, pretty much the thing that I'm telling you guys to do is Tendo. Uh, if you are in a wrong car. Tendo's just brain dead right now, man. Um, I know inside my best gold tree video, I was saying like speed and all that. No, Tendo is the way, bro. This new skill is actually insane. Flowing pedals, insane. The skill trees or the skill bosses, insane. But the whole general moveset is just, it's just good, man. If you're on a wrong car, I would say no Tendo or Hakuda. Um... And then the next one is going to be Blade Sero. So Blade Sero just throws out a blade. It does pretty far range. Um, the reason why I don't personally like this one is because it's a very small line and you have to aim it exactly perfect. And you can't really like move it at all. Once when it's gone out of your hand, it's out of your hand. Like if you miss, you miss. Um, it is a good still. It does do a lot of damage and all that. Um, but it's just not the one that I would personally um, go for. I know a lot of people do run it. It is still very, very good, um, but it's just not the one that I will personally recommend you guys to run. And that is the same as Fiender Zero. Fiender Zero is good. Um, it is basically just your normal Zero, but it shoots way faster. But in my opinion, if you want to have just a normal Zero, then I would just go try Zero. Um, because try Zero is better. It's way higher chances of actually hitting. Fiender Zero is good because it's so fast. It's really good for canceling out moves. Um, but there's multiple different moves that you guys can go to cancel out moves. So that's why I think Pharaoh's, um, Finger Sero is very, like, niche. Um, unless if you are super struggling with canceling moves, then I wouldn't really go recommend doing it. Um, I would say the top three, in my opinion, are gonna be, uh, Sero, Drab, tri -Sero, and Cornea. Um, that could mine, I haven't played with all of them, but I have seen them all used. Um, and that is just, like, what I would recommend to go. Um, personally, I like Cornea a lot because you can like combo extend with it. You can use it for far range. It's just very versatile because you can literally aim it. Like, if I'm here and there's a Soul Reaper all the way over here, boom, I can hit him. Like, it's very, very good. It shoots very fast. It does a lot of damage. Um, so I like Cornea, but I know Sero Grab is very good, and I know Tri Sero also very good in rain a lot. I think Cornea is definitely rain less between the three. Um, 
But yeah, I would say go any of those three and you guys should be fine. If you guys are really struggling with canceling people's abilities, then you guys can go Finger Sero as well because it's a very fast beam. And then Blade Sero, I know that it is good, but it's just not the one that I'm going to personally recommend. Um, at least I haven't seen really any builds that like absolutely require you to do it. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, the one that I'm going to recommend you guys to do is Cornea. Um, just because it's very fast, does high damage, you guys can do it for the uh, loot boxes and raids. Like, it's just uh, very versatile. But at the same time, Tricero, very good, very good damage, shoots pretty fast. Um, if you guys don't know what Tricero is, it shoots one Cero straight and then it curves off to the left and right. Um, which is good. Like, you can basically guarantee hit someone as long as you aim it in their general direction. Um, and then Cero Grab is also very, very good. If you are close to someone and use that move, you will hit them and it will do a lot of damage if you are going kendo um so yeah that is going to be my personal ones that i recommend like i said blade Sero and finger Sero, you can use like it's not a bad choice none of them are bad choices um but the ones that i'm going to personally recommend once again is going to be tornia price arrow and Sero grab um but that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe and let me know more of ron card type videos that you guys want to send in the future uh, because I have realized almost nobody posts a wrong card videos. Like, it is basically neglected in the YouTube scene. At least from what I can see. And basically, it's just everyone doing PvP videos with it. Um, like, Sajunda videos or something like that. And it's not really um, actual, like, tips and stuff like that. So, any other um, wrong card videos that you guys want, um, I'll be posting. So, just let me know inside the comments or inside my Discord. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I might be live today. I probably won't be though. I did end up fixing my stream, so it won't be laggy or anything when I do stream next. Um, I don't know if it will still be delayed because that was a major issue last time. And I do have a new video on my channel. Came out like two hours ago called the Middle Child of Type Soul talking about a Ronker a little bit more and explaining why you guys might not want to go this race. If you are watching this and you haven't already picked a Ronker, uh, you guys might want to watch that video first because i'm not gonna lie the leveling um system for a ron car is not the greatest it is actually like one of the worst things that i've ever played inside a video game i'm not gonna lie uh because they make you do like a 2017 mcdonald's type obby um that literally like nobody would play even if they were a little kid and you have to do that for your partial res and then for your full res you guys just literally have to win a gamble um but yeah if you guys want you know me talking about that then it is on my channel um, but yeah, once again, any other Iran card videos that you guys want, uh, just let me know down inside the comments. But that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.